there are those annual cleaning tasks we all know we should be doing, whether it's emptying out your cupboards, flipping your mattress, but it can be hard to find time to get them done. But when it comes to organisation and finding time, Heather Gibson of Find the Details Concierge and Organised Service has plenty of tips to help you get in control of your home and your life, because it all flows. Yes, it does. <laughs> Heather joins us now with her spring cleaning tips for making sure those annual tasks don't end up getting put on the back burner. Heather, thank you so much for joining us. So tell us, what are some of the annual or biannual jobs, um, cleaning and organisational tasks that we are all skipping? Well, predominantly you want to look at things that might cause injury down the track. So things like checking that your gas bottle is in date, um, smoke detectors, um, paving that you could trip up on, wiring that might be a little bit loose, light switches, anything like that that um, could be a, a hazard. You want to look at those annually. And other things are, you know, sort of medicine cabinets. Make sure you've got all your out-of-date medicines um, taken to the pharmacy and um, flip mattresses, air doonas, air pillows, you know, just a general spin clean. Heather, I think, um, you know, all of us these days complain about having very busy lives. I'm wondering how you help people put time aside to make these things happen. Um, we try not to make it complicated. You've got to make things easy and it's just schedule them in. So um, much the same as you would a doctor's appointment or a hairdressing appointment or um, any other appointment that you might have. Um, you put it in your calendar, whether that be a paper or electronic one, and that way you make sure it happens. And, I mean, what's the best way to approach this? Do you make a list or is that just a good way to put off the tasks by making the list? <laughs> <laughs> Lists are great if that's how you operate. Um, <laughs> yes, as you said, quite often people just keep adding things to the list and don't take anything off. So um, it, it is about diuretising things, um, putting them in your calendar. Um, and then if you do have to move them, they're there and they're just moved to another date. They're not completely gone. So um, yes, whichever way you make lists, whether it be on your phone or in a diary or on a piece of paper is great because everyone's got a different system that works for them. Now, I actually reward myself for getting lots of work done, like by bad things like chocolate or something. Um, how, how do you encourage people to actually meet the deadlines and get it done? Um, I think it's just the feeling of relief and accomplishment that you have when you do complete your to-do list. So it's, um, more, it's more emotional than actually a uh, physical reward. And once people have started on the journey of becoming more organised, they do realise that, um, yeah, they've got a lot better headspace, life just is easier and there's a weight lifted off their shoulders. What about some of the cleaning tasks that you really should try and do? you know, once a year, say it's spring. What, what are some of those tasks that, that you really need to, to get to once a year? Wardrobes are usually um, the most common. Um, people tend to sort of not get to the wardrobe because it's always, um, I might need that, you know, yep. I'm going to fit into that. Um, mm. Never know when I might have an, an 80s party come up that the doctor <laughs> might have to come out again. <laughs> it's like you're inside my head. Well, so. I'm wondering, I, I want to know how, how women's wardrobes differ to men's. How's that for a whole topic? <laughs> um, they're not a whole heap different, to be honest. Okay. So, um, <laughs> so men can as, be just um, as, as bad have a tendency. <laughs> yes. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. But yes, so it's, it's just try and one. do a, a room. Yes, um, linen cupboards, um, mm. pantries, they're also another where, you know, things get pushed to the back and, and never used and before you know it, they're, you know, two years old and obviously shouldn't be consumed anyway. So, <laughs> no. um, yeah. Heather, we, we, we hear the term spring clean to think about cleaning, but you actually started off with a really valid, very important point of looking at like outdated medicines and things like this. I'm wondering if you can outline a little bit of what um, finer things are about your business and the services that you actually offer. Uh, we're a concierge and organising service, so the concierge side of our business looks after um, people's mind clutter and their to-do lists, so we help them source um, trades and services, we run errands, we do research, basically taking care of all their life administration tasks that they don't have time for. And the organisational side is um, the decluttering and organising and helping people keep on top of their um, you know, home organisation or their office. Um, we've done many offices and storerooms at businesses, so.
Yeah. To have your own concierge, it sort of, you know, sounds like you, you've got to be a, you know, a VIP you or really wealthy. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, does it have to be? Mm. Well, who are your clients? Uh, does it range? Our clients are from all walks of life. They can, uh, small businesses, people that are new to town are, are quite often looking for um, someone that has a little bit more of a feet on the ground, um, knows where to go, what to do, how to, how to find things. Uh, professional women who have um, realised that it's okay to delegate and they don't have to be great at everything um, and they value their time. So the time that they want to spend with their family and loved ones, um, they've now realised that you know, they can outsource the things that they don't mm. like doing. Yeah. And I'm wondering, do you, um, you, you know, you're an organiser, is it like a tradesman who has wires hanging out of their own house? Are <laughs> so you organise it at home yourself or do you have to get the kids involved? <laughs> No, my boys are well and truly grown, um, but um, yes, we are fairly organised at home. It, I won't say it's perfect. I don't think that perfection is, is something that um, people really need to aspire to. It's just being able to find things so that you're not wasting time looking for stuff all the time. And, you know, if you want something, you know where to get it and you don't have excess, it's falling out of the cupboards. Oh, Heather, it's actually really inspiring to hear you talk. I've got my little list. Yep. In <laughs> fact, Heather, home. you are on my Christmas list. <laughs> Call Heather. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Thank you. <laughs> Heather Gibson there from Finer Details.